here with actor Noam Jenkins, who is on Pretty the show. Uh, Close. Not bad? Oh, well, it was a little, a little Noam. Uh, the thing oh. I'm concerned about my name is okay. that if, it, if you lose the two syllables, oh. eventually it goes to gnome, like and a, then like you've got a gnome. garden gnome with the beard. Yeah. That's my concern. That's my, that's okay. my you know. Okay. okay. Take two. I'm here with Noam <laughs> Jenkins, who is on... Uh, the very popular show that is shot here called Ricky Blue. Yes. Um, and thank you for joining us today in You're our welcome. social media lodge here at the Toronto International Film Festival. Is that what Festival. this is? It's, it's a social, social media lodge. It's a social media lodge. There's no wood here at all, though. It's just an awning. It, it started as a lodge because it's Sunday, and now right. we're stuck with the name. So okay. <laughs> we're in a lodge. Okay. Yeah. With a black awning. A black awning lodge. Picture us in ski stuff at Ski. At, okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Where, sure. where it came from. Yeah. Um, so, Noem. Yes. That was actually great. It was good. Because there was more and than um, yeah. which was good. I yeah. want to know what it's like being on a, on a cop show, playing a detective, because that is, I mean, out of all the roles people, actors want to play, yeah. I'm sure that you've got doctor, you've got maybe lawyer in a courtroom, you've got detective. I mean, that's one of the... Yeah, I get I get axe murderer a lot. But, um, um, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so detective, yes. I mean, what's that like? You get to like be in this character's shoes, and actually, instead of going to like police academy and having yeah. to go through years of, you get to play a detective and. Sure. Yeah. And, and then while you're doing sort of dangerous detective stuff, people come with trays of like hors d'oeuvres. I mean, come and on. You, you know. Yeah. Then you you know someone pats you down. You do a little bit of detective stuff. Uh, and then you eat some more for you snacks. in the next. I mean, it's great. It is good. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. What am I complaining about all the time? <laughs> um, so what's your question? Is Sorry. That, I just want to know what it's like. Like, what are uh, any surprises in playing a character like this off the bat? Like, did you have to go through any special training, gun training? Cut you know training? what? They did. They did gun training, uh, and somehow the memo didn't get to train me with the guns. I guess wow. there was an assumption that I. Like this. <laughs> well, to be honest, I have played a lot of bad guys in my time, yes. and bad guys often wield guns, so I feel fairly comfortable with various firearms and okay. weapons of all sorts. Uh, but I didn't get the training, uh, the gun training. Uh, but yeah, it actually it, it has been uh, pretty interesting in terms of looking at the procedure of how uh, an investigation works. Because because I'm playing detective, yeah. you know, the crime happens and then we come in and investigate. And so uh, we have people on set who actually uh, uh, advise us in terms of of how the procedures work, and yeah. Yeah, so that's been pretty interesting. Um, and uh, in terms of surprises, yeah, well, kind of every part you play, you're you're surprised by it. You know, right. you're, you're scared, and then you start to play it. You're still scared, and then you sort of make assumptions of what the part would be like, and then you realize some of it's right, a lot of it's wrong, and you kind of discover it as you go. That's awesome. Now, do you have any? Uh plans during the festival? Are you, any movies that you're like uh, dying to see? Yeah, except most of them are sold out. The ones that I'm really dying to see. Uh, but uh, what am I seeing that... Uh, oh, there's the Lars Van Trier movie. Yes. Which I don't... You see, when I'm looking through the book, I actually just look at the filmmakers. And the directors, I, yeah. So I don't actually remember what any of the titles are. But there's his movie. Yeah. Uh, that I'm, And then there's uh, the Vim Vendors movie uh, called Pina. Oh. Uh, which is on... Do you know who Pina Bosch is? No. I, you know, no one seems to know who this person is. He did a documentary on Pina Bosch. Pina Bosch is one of the great modern dance choreographers. I've heard about this film. Okay, so I've he... I've heard about it. I've yeah. heard Pina. I mean, I've heard the buzz about right, this right. film, but I just don't know what it's about. Yeah, what's well, about he? Well, I don't either, really, because I haven't seen it. But uh, the premise is he was going to make a documentary on Pina Bosch, and then a week before they were uh, about to start filming, she got diagnosed with cancer, and then she died two days later. Oh my God! So they uh, they he, he decided to stop making the movie, but her dance company, which is in Germany, was still performing, doing the pieces. So they decided uh, to film uh, all her great uh, choreographies. I hope I'm doing this movie just. Because I haven't seen it, I'm, I'm sort of pitching a movie that I haven't seen, and I hope I'm no, saying I'm uh, being accurate. We need to talk about Kevin. I haven't seen it either. Right. I'm like loving it. But they shot it in 3D, so you're seeing all the dance, the famous choreographies all over, shot in 3D. And I, I'm a big fan of Inventor, so I think it'll be great. Well, 
books and I think we must see it and our viewers have yeah. to read up on this and go watch Rookie Blue because this guy, Noam, yeah. is on it. I'm uh, on <laughs> thank you so much for chatting with us. You're welcome. Good luck with everything. Good luck with you too. Thank you. Right. You've been watching Real TV Films at the Social Media Lodge here at the Toronto International Film Festival. Special shout out to Brennan DeMello Hair Products because they did my hair. They just from Brennan You know what? I was going to say your hair looks fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>